Hello everyone, it's Bianca from The Closet Historian here today with a hair tutorial for you all. This is the basic way I style my hair. It's sort of just retro, it's not very um, era specific at all. And it's just done with a curling iron um, and takes about 20 minutes usually for me to do it this way. And it all starts with sectioning. So here I am sectioning off the front section of my hair, what would be kind of bangs if you had bangs, but my hair is obviously cut into like a long bob here. So just wanna get that section. And then I usually separate this into two curls later when I'm sort of setting my hair with the curling iron. But for now, I'm just gonna clip it away here and get it out of our way. I am gonna do the same with the sides and sort of section them off just from above the ear up to where my part is on this side at least. Um, just sort of take those sections aside as well. Ooh, I'm looking like a cockatoo now, which is great. Um, so here's the other side as well. Just sectioning those off with duckbill clips or big hair clips, whatever you've got laying around will do. The back is all still hanging down, so I'm gonna separate that actually to three sections, um, starting from above the ears again. Separate the top portion of my hair. I'm gonna clip that out of the way. And then down here on the bottom, I usually take another um, sort of horizontal slide with my fingers like that and twist that up out of the way so I can get those hairs at the nape of my neck just with a curling iron real quickly. Here is my curling iron. It's a Hot Tools half inch barrel curling iron. I think a smaller curling iron really lends itself to looking more like pin curls without having to do pin curls when you're done. So I usually just curl everything downward. Um, so everything kind of curls underneath and these are the shortest hairs of the back of my neck here so they're not super short right now in this um, video but just curling those really quickly everything just curling under look at all that sectioning what a look guys And then just a quick spray of some hairspray. Now I'm gonna let down that other horizontal section from the back, separate that into two sides, and then clip one of them up out of the way. And then again, I'm just gonna curl this facing down. Sometimes I separate this into two sections. You'll see on the other side I do, um, just to get the best curl out of it. This one, you can see a part of it did not get included, but that's fine. This is, can be messy, it's fine. I'll do it in a second. Here we are, like right now. <laughs> Everything again, just curling down the other side, do the same sort of thing. And here I do take a front section out a little bit and then just curl everything facing down. And here I am trying not to burn my ear, which I do all the time, so. And one more section that just didn't get curled enough for my liking, and another little spray with some hairspray. Um, and then I kind of pause on the back and start on the front sections. Um, I'm gonna separate this front side, which is the lighter side of my part, into two sections, and then put two curls in there. And look at those layers being pain. Sometimes I just curl the ends a little bit and then start over just so that I can get those little pieces that wanna fly away into the curl. Once that's good and hot, I slide it off the curling iron, and then I'm gonna roll the curl while it's still hot around my finger, just around one finger, sort of pinch it from the top. Yeah, that's a great view of my arm there. <laughs> pinch it from the top and then use a pin curl clip to hold it in place while it cools. It just kind of makes the curls, well, fall more like a vintage set and then also just curlier because they're cooling in that curl shape as opposed to having the weight of the curl pull it down and pull some of the curl out while it is setting. So the second little part of that section of doing the same way, again kind of sliding it off the curling iron, rolling it around my finger, and then pinning it with a pin curl clip. All right, so that's that section. As you can see, I have to re-roll this one because it's just not behaving properly, but that's okay. All right, give those a little spray if you want to with some hairspray. And here I am on the heavy side of my part. I'm just gonna sort of put that section to the side while I work on the middle. 
Um, this you can section in different ways. You can roll the curls back or roll the curls front, um, sort of perpendicular to your part for a different look, depending on kind of what vintage setting pattern you're looking at. Normally, I just roll them down to the side in the opposite direction of the ones on the other side, I guess, so down towards my ear, though. This front section has some layering in it, as you can see, um, so it makes it hard to just curl it in one. So usually I try and get those little shorter sections out of the main curl and curl them by themselves. Otherwise they just cause a lot of problems. So here I have separated those baby sections. I'm just gonna curl them sort of by themselves because they get in the way. And a good um, way of curling for this when you have sections that are falling out or layers is starting about midway like I have here and then sliding the hair down into the curl. Just make sure you slide all the way to get those ends in there. And sometimes I do this whole section doing that same technique and just sliding it, sliding it, and trying many multiple times. But as you can see, those layers pop right out of that curl when I try and do the whole thing at once. But since we already curled them, that will be fine in the end. But I just curl all the way up to my head, and then I just wait for that to set a little bit and get hot. And then slide that off the curling yard again. Now I have this lovely... Shirley Temple curl in the front here. I'm just gonna make sure I got all those little smaller sections incorporated in. Then again, I'm wrapping the curl while it's still hot, sometimes too hot, around my finger, pinching it from the top, sliding it off, and putting in this time a duckbill clip since it's a larger section of hair and I want it to really be held in there. So that's just rolled and can cool all together now. And then the second section from that front part this, luckily I have no layers in, so I can curl all at once. Um, again, just the ends, I curl a little bit before I roll the whole thing so that they stay nice in there. Slide off. And then once again, I'm going to wrap it around my finger. Just, it's like sort of doing pin curls, but with the curling iron. Um, so it's a hot set, but with keeping vintage styling um, techniques in mind, kind of. Just gonna pin that again with the duckbill clip in the front there. And again, you can spray this with hairspray. Then we have that last sectioned part from the front above my other ear. And this again, I'm just gonna separate into a couple horizontal sections and then curl and pin. I'm just tucking the ends in there. Make sure that curl stays sort of as one little barrel. And the last one for the front sections. I like to do the front before I work on the main portion of the back hair, just so that it has a long time to cool. The back of my hair for the top, I section this usually into three sections. Here you see me taking the first of the three. Um, I'll just take a center and then a side again. Um, but I just putting the most of that hair away while I work on each section. Each section I'm going to separate into about three horizontal sections again. Section, 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 section. I keep saying section. Um, and then so I'm going to curl those down and under just like everything else. And in the back I really don't mind if it gets a little bit sloppy. Um, I'm just not really caring about the sectioning as much as I am just making sure everything's curled down in the same direction. And here's a little piece that wanted to escape. So again, it can be messy. There's the rest of that first third there. Just separating another piece. And again, curling it down and under. And the last one. And the last one for these sections for the top um, of the back of my hair, I usually will do the roll around my finger and clip it again just so that those get nice and set and nice and curly. And then once you have everything pinned, just wait for everything to cool. I usually will do my makeup at this time. And then you're ready to start styling it. Obviously I curled the other two sections, but we don't need to watch me curling forever and ever. So I took out the back clips here um, before I start running my fingers through it. 
and then I'll take out the sides too. I'll leave the top just a little bit longer, just while I start styling. You can see those curls have a nice bounce and are um, like springier than they would be if I had just let them cool by themselves and not pinned them up. So I just start running my fingers through my hair. I don't have a brush at all usually when I do this style unless I'm going for something like a smoother page boy. Um, I usually like keeping this quite curly just because it's easiest. So I just run my fingers through it and we're just going to be molding the curls and the shape with, um, just do it with your hands basically and with your fingers. Oh, looking silly. Um, just take those last two out. Here's my frizzy Shirley Temple look, or clown hair really. Um, and here I'm just starting to sculpt the curls and getting the tangles out. And depending on what you're going for, you can also take these curls and pin them up on top of your head like a poodle. Um, that like is a really easy way to get the poodle hairstyle if you have enough hair in the back to make a French twist or something. And here I'm just combing my hair with my hands again and just sort of pulling the curls down to the bottom. Oh, and here I found a straight piece that I don't like, but that's why the curling iron is still plugged in. So we'll just fix that real fast. And there we go. Look at that. Not bad. All right. And then molding the curls some more. The more you brush it through with your hands, just the same as if you were brushing it with a hairbrush, the curl's gonna get moved down to the ends. It's definitely gonna be able to spring back if you want it to. For the side, the light side of my part, I usually just pin that back and smooth it. So I've got some bobby pins here that I'm opening with my teeth, don't do that. Um, so I kind of just swirl my fingers around this section. You can kind of see me doing that um, to make the curls lay how I'd like. Here's another hair pin just to secure that first bobby pin. And you can see here I am like tucking the curls in just to get that rounded shape I like. In the back, I'm just smoothing everything down so the curl is mostly just above my neck. And then on the heavy side of my part, I usually pin the side up where I'm holding it here with my fingers. So here I am just trying to get the shape that I'd like. I tuck some of my hair behind my um, ear here just because I have a lot of excess hair on this side because this is the Definitely the heavy side of my part. And just getting some of those curls out of the way by tucking them by my ear works quite well. And here I'm just going to, oh, oh, it's Cleo. It's my cat, okay, out of the way. And then I'm going to grab a bobby pin. And just pin that up where I was pinching it before. And I've got a little peak on the top here, so I'm trying to adjust that with another bobby pin. And then once you have it pinned up, you can kind of sculpt the side a little bit more and go in and look at individual curls and break them apart if you want to. And just tuck things up that are hanging down or poke your curls until they do what you want, basically. And this section was looking too uniform, so I pulled a curl apart there. And there you have it, pretty much. Just smoothing everything in the back. You can put some pomade on your hands now. Uh, there's a couple of straight sections in the back you can see that need to be curled a little bit more. If I could see behind me, I would, I would know that. But here's when you want to hairspray it and pomade the hell out of it. Stick a flower in it, put a hat on it. It's done. And now, slow-mo silly posing time. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.